And with the 4th of July weekend almost here, safety officials want everyone to be safe and prepared. This morning, News 9's Jamie McGriff joins us with information to help you enjoy the water this summer. Jamie? Good morning. Yes, we're talking about how to stay safe during the 4th of July, especially if you're around water. And this morning, I'm talking to Tony Richardson, Trooper Tony Richardson with OHP. He has something that's very important for people to wear if they plan on going out on the lakes this weekend. That's correct, your life jacket. And if you're a child from the age of 13 under and you're going to be in a boat that's less than 26 feet in length, you need to have your life jacket on. The adults, they need to make sure that they have a life jacket with them. And we encourage people to take them out, check them, make sure that they're good from last year, that they've not torn, they're not rotten, and that they're in good shape and make sure you know where it's at on the boat. I know you're going to be busy this weekend trying to make sure everyone's safe on the lakes. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the dangers that you see when folks are actually going out on the lakes at night? That's correct. A lot of people, this will be their first time to go out on the lake at night to see the fireworks displays. And we encourage everyone to check the lights on their boat before they go to the lake. Once you get out there and it's nighttime, make sure that everyone has their life jacket on. Hook your kill switch up. Make sure everyone's seated down in the boat so you have a good visibility. Designate people in the boat to be your proper lookout. And by all means, reduce your speed. And also the importance, talk about the importance of people just being alert and just looking around them, keeping, you know, watch around their surroundings and that sort of thing. That's correct. Um, water, nighttime, judging distance is very difficult to do. And having more people in the boat, watching out, looking at the other boats, seeing which direction they're going, and communicating with the operator can help make his job a whole lot safer. All right, Trooper Richardson, thank you for joining us this morning. So there you have it, some tips on how you can stay safe during this 4th of July weekend. So if you plan on going out in the lake, make sure you have one of these for everybody that's going to be on the boat with you. Reporting live in Tulsa, Jamie McGriff back.